Hi, I'm Roger Huntler, owner and banner of MagnaShade. Today we have the opportunity to install a set of shades on the Hardens 2017 Allegro bus. Now, uh, this is your third set of shades. Third, third, third set of shades. Third motor home. We had a Phaeton. We had a, a 2011 bus. Now we have the 2017 third set of MagnaShade. And you said this is going to be your last motor our, our home. Our final set, yes. Final yeah. set. Well, let's go for number four next year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're going to give you some uh, tips and tricks. I think this will help uh, anybody installing their shades. We're going to go inside. Uh, the boys are going to be out here shortly, so we'll give you good instructions on this. And we appreciate your business, your continued business, and also your service to our country. Yeah, thank you, Roger. We appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, we're beginning the installation here on the Hardens uh, windshield shade. Uh, Joey right now is cleaning the perimeter of the inside of the windshield with a 50-50 mix of alcohol and water. Uh, doing this initially with a microfiber towel will uh, ensure a good solid uh, clean base for the uh, adhesive that is pre-applied to the magnets. And that just takes a few seconds and uh, the next step will be to actually start installing the shade. And while we're in here, a little tip, when you receive your magnets, get this in the sun, when you receive your magnets, they're going to be in a roll separated by plastic spacers. So what we do to make installation easier is separate the magnets one at a time and we placed them on the bottom of a cookie pan. So this is a common household product you probably have. Doing this, whoever's installing the magnets on the inside can simply lay this on the dash and slide the magnets off one at a time. This will help ensure that you don't pinch your fingers between two of these magnets. They're very powerful, so you want to be careful with these. And this is how we'll be setting uh, setting up for the installation. Uh, we're going to have one person on the inside, and then we'll be uh, installing the shade on the outside. So it takes two people initially to do this. And uh, we'll give you the process here as we get started. All right, we are now going to install the windshield shade. Um, on this particular coach, it's quite a reach to the top, and we also have a narrow space to the top of the windshield. So we're going to use this special tool, which I'm sure you have in your kitchen. Uh, the metal spatula, what we're going to do, Joey's going to place the magnet in order to reach the top. He's going to place the uh, magnet on the back of the uh, spatula and raise it up. It'll automatically connect with the magnets in the shade. And uh, so they're going to start this process right now. And we'll just step outside here so we can get a better view. All right, we're going to start with... Uh, the two center magnets. So what Landon's doing on the outside, he's actually lining up the two center magnets with marker lights so that we don't have to make as much adjustment on the shade once we dry fit it. Now right now we're going to hang the shade with the magnets leaving the film on the adhesive because what we want to do here is hang the shade, adjust it, we want to move all the magnets outboard which we're going to show you how to do that. Once the shade is fitted we're going to remove the magnets one at a time, peel the film and then stick them to the glass. All right, so that's two magnets on there already holding the shade. We'll step outside here now. So we're going to continue now to hang the magnets. This particular shade uh, requires 12 magnets. And then uh, we'll come back to this once we are, have it hung and, and we make our adjustments. Okay, this only took about um, 10 minutes. Now the shade is, is, is now on the windshield. The magnets are not permanently set to the glass. So uh, what we're doing now, we, face, we have faced the coach into the sun, which really helps with the installation quite a bit. And um, that allows the fabric to relax. We're gonna stretch it real tight. Um, the last step we're gonna do now before we actually install the magnets permanently in the glass glass uh, would be obviously to stretch it, make sure there's no wrinkles. Um, we're going to go inside the motorhome. We're going to scoot all the interior magnets outboard as far as they'll go. This, this is because we have a built-in adjustment system in our shade system. The shade magnets can actually float in a channel, but will always stay fixed to the non-movable magnet behind the glass. 
So this allows you to bump wrinkles out and get it tight every time you put it up, depending on uh, temperature or how you store the shade. So as you can see, this shade is fitting very tight. Um, this is how it should look before you set the magnets permanently. And we're gonna start that here very shortly and we'll go back inside the coach and show you how to do that. Okay, this, this shade is now ready to permanently install the magnets on the inside. We're gonna remove those magnets one at a time, peel the film, and stick them to the glass. Uh, the magnets are gonna automatically align themselves with the magnet in the shade. We've moved all these outboard. We're gonna go inside and show you how to scoot those outboard. It's imperative that before installing the magnets permanently that the interior magnets are moved outboard, which in turn moves the shade magnet outboard as well. So we're gonna go look at that right now. All right, so these are the magnets on the opposite side of the pocket. These magnets are mounted on the inside of the windshield. Joey's gonna show how to adjust these because the uh, film, go ahead, Joey. Because the film on the magnet is still on the adhesive, we're able to slide these magnets. You wanna make sure you do that. Set them outboard as far as you can. As I mentioned, that's gonna move the shade magnet outboard. And uh, this is how they should be positioned before you remove the magnets outboard as far as they'll go. Top and bottom all the way around, up in the corners and on the sides. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is um, we're gonna start with the two metal magnets. Joey's gonna put the spatula back up there. Landon is gonna pull that uh, fabric back just a little bit so we can get the magnet down. While that's happening on this particular coach, Landon is gonna put his thumb in the pocket of the shade and scoot that magnet back up in the pocket and hold it there. When uh, Joey places the uh, magnet against the pocket, it's gonna automatically be positioned properly and it'll attach immediately. Go ahead. All right, Joey. See, there's very little space to get up there. Okay, Landon is holding his hand on the pocket so the magnet stays in place. You want to peel the film off the adhesive. Do not touch the adhesive. All right, now that magnet will automatically, you'll hear it thunk. Get a little pressure on it. Now we're gonna move to the next magnet. Landon cannot see in here. So we, uh, Joey's tapping on the glass to let him know we need to go to the next magnet. You can use the spatula even on a windshield that's, e that's easier to reach than this one. Since the magnets automatically align, there's no guesswork as to where the magnet's gonna go. Now we've done the two center magnets. We're gonna go over to the driver's side and down and then finish it up on the passenger side and down. Very easy to do, anybody can do this. I suggest you read the written instructions as well as the video. Watch the video, read the instructions. It'll make it very simple. So we'll continue to do this. As soon as we get them all in place, we'll be right back. Here we are on the outside now. Landon is holding that his hand against that pocket. See, remember we moved all those magnets outboard. So when Joey removes the magnet on the inside, we want to make sure that uh, shade magnet stays in place where we adjusted it. This entire installation on this 2017 Allegro bus um, normally would take uh, about 15 minutes, especially if you have a good sunny day. I always recommend facing the coach into a into the sun. Um, we're also going to do side window shades on this coach and tire shades. We're doing side window shades. Uh, we'll get into that uh, in the next video. Uh, you want to make sure you have a dry day for that one. Uh, this is a step not uh, always on every shade installation. There are a few shades where the interior trim and the edge of the glass uh, exceed our uh, uh, measurements that we like to go to. So what we do to compensate for the uh, deep interior trim 
there are a few shades where we actually put in a very a small magnet in the very tip along with the larger magnet that's mounted inside so what this does this keeps this uh, from coming up here flapping up so we're going to install on this particular shade on all the Phaetons and late model buses we're typically going to have a magnet sewn into the very tip we're going to install a very thin black magnet on the outside of the four corners of this shade so that when the shade's up these will be held in with that small magnet they're going to blend right into the glass the first thing Landon's going to do is clean this surface and uh, treat it with a silane, 3M silane treatment. Silane is used on uh, side window applications and any exterior magnet application. What it does, it creates a monofilm on the glass that uh, keeps moisture from coming through. Another little tip when you're installing side magnets, you can test the glass with masking tape and make sure the masking tape sticks to the glass good. If not, you can use 4 aught steel wool with some glass cleaner uh, to remove any wax or build up on the glass, then clean it with alcohol and water solution, and then apply the silane. So uh, we're going to go ahead and install these uh, four corner magnets. We're just going to show the one in this video how we're going to do that. And Landon is actually going to place the magnet on the back side of the fabric, put the adhesive dot on after he cleans it, and lay it against the glass. It'll be perfectly positioned. Go ahead, Landon. Another note, too, on the uh, Phaetons and buses, uh, the new ones, uh, with the bonded windshield and some Allegro open roads. And there's a few other models uh, with the bonded windshield where you have no gasket. We intentionally cut the sides just a little short uh, due to the distance between the interior magnet and the outer edge of the glass. This is intentional. Uh, from the inside, it's unnoticeable. Uh, but we do that so that when the shade is on, there's no curling on the radiuses or on the sides. So it helps hold the sides down really good. Works very well. We've done many of these. This is a real simple installation. The other thing, uh, once this exterior magnet is installed, is only on the windshield on this particular type. You can put a little bead of silicone around the top of the magnet, or uh, Loctite makes many products that work real well for this. They not only make thread locker, they make many other products. Uh, any clear sealer around the top of the magnet, just a small bead on these exterior mounted magnets for the windshield um, will help shed the water off. And they're going to hold really well with this uh, 3M adhesive. want to make sure too you're always using a clean microfiber towel uh, when cleaning the glass before you install the magnets. The microfiber won't leave any lint and uh, it does a real good job in cleaning the area for the glass. Alright, so Landon has the magnet attached outboard to the tip of the shade. Scooting it out, he's going to peel the film, lay it over, stick it, and on this shade we're going to do this on all four corners. Put a lot of pressure on the magnet, and that's how you install the auxiliary magnets for the corners of some of these bonded windshields. All right, we thought we'd give you a shot of the inside looking out now. All the shades are on the Hardens coach, the 2017 Allegro bus. We are facing directly into the sun, and I can tell you the temperature has dropped dramatically since we came in here the first time. So we have a nice view out of the front of the coach. It's our entry door, side windows. You can see the interior magnet placements all out to the edge. I would say the temperature here on the dash has dropped significantly. All I can tell you, we are running air conditioner and generator right now and it's very cool up here in the front of the coach, even with direct sunlight. So that's how, uh, that's how you can see out during the day. And we'll get a new exterior shot right now.
Okay, here we are. All of the exterior shades on the hardened 2017 Allegro bus are installed. This is the exterior. Nice privacy looking into the coach. A lot of heat reduction, custom tailored to your specific model. Step on in there, Paul. We mentioned this is uh, the Hardens. Uh, Thank you, Roger. Another great job by Roger and his crew at Magna Shade in Foxville, North Carolina. This is our third set. We totally enjoyed the last two. We're going to enjoy this. Thank uh, you, Roger. Thank you, Paul. Okay, um, the Hardens also purchased our uh, patent pending tire shades. Landon's going to put one on here. These are sidewall shades. They are made uh, from a very high quality fabric. Much easier to install than the bag tie. Bar design also shows the center of the wheel. Uh, the Hardens coach, uh, obviously being a diesel, is aired up. Makes it easier to put these on a diesel coach. You get your hand in there. The straps simply go around the back of the tire. And that's a really good example of a beautiful tire shade system. Very easy to clean these shades. They beat water like a duck. And uh, they don't look like you have tire shades on. It's very aesthetically the nicest looking system out there. So there's a shot of the shades with the tire shades. And that's what you can expect from Magna Shade and Hunt for Fabrication.